Hey everyone, I've got a couple of hauls to share with you and it's been forever it seems like. I have not had the privilege of going and doing some retail therapy in a while but oh, finally got a chance to do that and um, I'm going to split this up into two separate videos because I went a little bit Christmas crazy too. Um, not a ton, mostly papers because I'm trying to test out some different collections to get a feel for what I'm really liking. But this first one I'm going to show you is just some um, a little bit of themey paper and then the rest of it is um, some um, new things. So the first things I want to show you, um, these two here, um, 12 by 12 sheets are from Doodlebug Design and they're the Happy Harvest. I got just two sheets, the 12 by 12 sheets, because I get to experience a full on autumn this year. This is the first full autumn that I've experienced. I used to live in Florida and Florida has two seasons. We've got spring and summer, that's it, <laughs> and love bug season, but um, we don't get to experience fall and autumn like everyone else does because our trees just don't change like that. So I'm really going to get a chance to experience it. It's already starting to change outside and it's gorgeous. So I'm really looking forward to doing some pages about that, but this first page is really cute. I just fell in love with these little acorns. And this particular piece of paper is called Falling Leaves, and the back side, and that'll, that's why it's called Falling Leaves. <laughs> it's really cute. And then this next one is Autumn Leaves, and it's just kind of like a, you know, a, a tone on tone of the last one. And then the back side is like a little, um, what are they, you know, kind of like a woven, it's really pretty. So I got those two 12 by 12 and then I found, um, they actually had the whole collection there, but um, I actually found this pad. This is the Simple Stories Harvest Lane. And to be quite honest, I don't know, this is 2012, so this is last year, but um, this is a really cute collection. Um, and I just got the little six by six pad. And by the way, I got all this from Archivers. and. Um, I don't have a local scrapbook store here, so Archivers is the place that I can go to find, to, to see and touch everything. But um, this is, I'm trying to figure out a way to do this where you can kind of see the papers. Look at that, that's really cute. Um, it's very kitschy and, you know, just, that is really cute. Um, little patterns and stuff like I said this is old and um, from last year but it's it's adorable and I like it and this will be perfect to use not only in project life but um, to make some cards and um, to do some um, a mini I actually made a mini last year of um, autumn and there are no pictures in it yet so I can fill that up but um, I just fell in love with this little pad and it was only $3.99 so I thought that was a really good deal. Again, this was Simple Stories, and it's called Harvest Lane. So those are the two um, autumn things that I picked up, the two little things. And then I got, I found on, um, when I was looking at the Simple Stories, the Say Cheese Collection, and hence my name, I love Disney. Um, I have a lot of Disney pictures, and I absolutely fell in love with this collection when I saw it and I'm so glad that they had it. I did not get the full collection but I did manage to pick up what I knew that I would use and um, I picked up the cardstock sticker sheet and this is flipping adorable. Let's see if I can pull in a little bit closer so you can see a little bit of it. The arrows and the polka dots and the, the chevrons and it's just oh gosh I'm so much in love with this, it's not even funny. There are so many different things and elements on this page here that um, I'm going to be able to use in my Disney albums. It's, it's just going to be incredible. And then I picked up some of the papers that went along with it. This one is called, um, it says Page Elements. Okay, so it's two six by twelve um, you know pieces that you can cut apart and there's the back side this one is called 
horizontal journaling card elements. And these are, of course, it's self-explanatory. These are the horizontal four by six cards. And then the back side. This is really cute. This is here. This here is one of my all-time favorite quotes. I'm trying to see it. Um, from Walt Disney. It, it's actually one of my favorite quotes in general. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. On here, it says, if you can dream it, you can do it. They got that wrong. It's It should say, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. Um, I'm a little disappointed that they got the quote wrong on that, but I, um, I'm wondering if it, this is not official Disney product, so I'm wondering if they had to change it up a little bit to keep themselves from getting sued. <laughs> I know that Disney is really, really picky and there, if you are not, um, part of Disney and you don't have their permission, they will throw a fit. And I'm actually really surprised that they got away with a lot of this, but, um, this one here is called the vertical journaling card elements. And I'm really sorry. I'm filming on my laptop today and, um, my other camera, although it would have taken a much better picture, it um, needs to be charged. I really like a lot of the details that they put into this. That's really cute. This is where the magic happens. Um, some of the details in this, you know, I mean, that's just stinking adorable. I'm going to have such a blast with this. The next one is going to be um, the 3 by 4 journaling cards. And there's a ton on here. They are, oh, I cannot begin to tell you how much I love, love, love this collection. And there's another quote. Those who do not believe in magic will never find it. This is cute. I don't know. <laughs> itinerary, um, attraction itinerary down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it good enough. You can actually score it. <laughs> you can give your, uh, your attractions and your itinerary a score. That's really cute. One of them is epic fail. Okay. And then I got a couple of the, um, I got one of the four by, um, four by six, one of the 12 by 12 is just the regular. Um, this one's called believe. And I absolutely love this. I actually like both sides and now I'm wishing I would have got both pieces, two pieces to, um, use both of them. This one's like a newspaper print, main street press. This is really good. I'm so happy that I got that. And um, they had quite a bit of the collection. I'm really surprised. Um, and they had some other things added into it that really went well with it. And um, that's one thing I do like about archivers is they'll, they'll pull things from other collections and um, work them into the display. And, you know, it kind of helps you to see, you know, hey, this collection works with this collection. That's one thing I have to give them. They do a good job displaying. Um, I did pick up some uh, candy cane stickles. I have lost all of my stickles. I have no idea where they're at, but I needed the red because there's a lot of red going on. And then I picked up some of the Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party. Oh, whoop. Um, I got this one's called Perfect Picture, and it's just a really cute camera um, camera patterns on it, and it's a really pretty minty blue color and then the back side actually yeah that's what it's called perfect picture and then the bottom um of course you're seeing this is a gray and white polka dot but the bottom i love this um branding strip this is a moment captured that is really pretty i just realized that i really like this this whole line i didn't get a lot of it but i'm going to go back and get some more because it's really really nice i like the colors of this one this one is called Fantastic Favors, and I can see this one being used quite a bit. There's just so many blank labels on here that you can use. They remind me of gift, like Christmas gift tags, even though it's not Christmas. The back side is just um, pink and white and butterflies, but I did get it for this side because this is going to come in really handy. And I love this little camera right here. That's cute. Okay. This one is called Warm Welcome, and again, the colors in this are just phenomenal. Look at that, isn't it pretty? I 
I love that butterfly right there. Cat, I know you don't like them. You don't like butterflies, but that one is really pretty. There's a really pretty wood plank. It's like a washed out wood plank that's really pretty. So this one's really nice. And then the back side, um, it's just a simple black and white. Um, actually, it's a dark gray and white polka dot. And there's a little bit of scribbling up here. When I first looked at it, I don't know if you can see it. When I first looked at it, I thought, oh my gosh, somebody had let their kid get a hold of this with a pencil. But no, that's that's typical um, of this collection. It kind of reminds me of Amy Tangerine along that same line. Um, this one is called Giddy Guest. And <laughs> there's just no other way to say it. This is just the most adorable piece of paper. The little Scotty Terriers are absolutely adorable. And this camera is not doing the justice on the color. It's like um, we've got a dark and light, um, kind of like a peachy pink um, diagonal stripe going on it. And then you've got the little white Scotty dogs everywhere. <laughs> it's just adorable. And then the back side, just a nice stripe pattern. And this one is called Polka Dot Plates. And this one's a really pretty mint, um, mint blue green with some offset polka dots. And they're dots within dots. <laughs> And then the back side, I just love this one too. We've already got some splatter going on. It's a really pretty soft um, peachy pink. And you you can see the um, the white splatter already on it. But look at the bottom. Look at the branding strip. You're the peanut butter to my jelly. That's so cute. So those are all the papers that I got from that. I did pick up the... Um, The chipboard shapes, I'm sorry. There's the pack. Of course, if I open it, we're history. I'm going to have to find something to put these in. I'm sorry for the glare. But here's the... There you go. You can kind of get a look at what's inside of it. If you want to see these up close and um, out, of the, out of the little package, if you want to comment down below, I'll be more than happy to open them up on camera so you can see each and every one of these. So um, that's all there is on this particular uh, video. I'm going to come back and share with you my holiday haul, and um, I might even share some of the little cards that I've been working on. I've got a, a craft fair that I'm going to be participating in next month, and so I'm trying to get some stuff ready for that too. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to end this one, and I'll see you back in a bit. Bye!